many years, Rayner, one of the world's leading ophthalmic companies, has helped restore sight to millions of people. Indeed, the very name Rayner has become synonymous with quality and excellence. As manufacturer of the world's first intraocular lens and the only British manufacturer of intraocular lenses, Rayner continues to create innovative and unique lens designs at their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hove, East Sussex, England. The Rayner C-Flax is a single-piece hydrophilic acrylic UV injectable intraocular lens, which is presented in an easy-to-use system pack containing one C-Flex IOL and one Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector. C-Flex has many unique features, which greatly benefit both the patient and the ophthalmologist. The superb stability of C-Flex is achieved by the use of AVH, or anti-vaulting haptic technology, resulting in a controlled and progressive haptic compression in response to the contraction of the capsular bag. AVH technology is characterized by perfect centration and superior torsional and rotational stability, with virtually no anterior or posterior vaulting. This is marked by an accurate, predictable and sustainable refractive or visual outcome for the patient. The fenestration within each of the two haptic bodies effectively creates an outer and inner haptic and at 10.5 millimeters, the outer haptics begin to take up the compression forces being generated within the eye due to post-operative capsular bag contraction. The progressive and initially linear resistance to these contraction forces ensures exact centration of the lens within the capsular bag. At approximately 10 millimeters, the outer haptics begin to engage the inner haptics creating new bending fulcra. This altered haptic configuration assumes less flexibility and with further capsular contraction, the increased compression forces are absorbed while still maintaining perfect centration. At approximately 9.5 millimeters, the haptic tips gently meet the optic and are effectively locked into position. The IOL assumes an oval configuration enabling it to withstand excessive or even asymmetrical capsular contraction, while still maintaining perfect centration and stability. C-Flax is also associated with very low rates of posterior capsular opacification, or PCO, and this is directly attributable to the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, a design feature which presents a virtually impenetrable barrier to any migrating lenticular epithelial cells, or LECs, the precursor to PCO. Some single-piece injectable IOL designs have a square-edged optic to reduce PCO, but the square edge may be absent at the optic-haptic junctions. This design flaw, an Achilles heel, can render the IOL vulnerable to PCO, as any LECs present on the haptics can freely migrate within the visual axis. Rayner was the first company to recognize the benefit of such a barrier for the reduction of PCO. Furthermore, Rayner's unique design ensures a secure IOL posterior capsular contact without the need for haptic angulation. Not only does this maximize the effectiveness of the square edge, but also contributes to stability and ease of implantation. This photograph, taken by the Miyake Apple Posterior View Technique, clearly shows the effectiveness of the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge at the vulnerable optic-haptic junctions. Here is a series of photographs of an implanted eye taken at 6 months, 10 months, 18 months and 24 months after surgery. Again, the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge can be seen as a complete barrier to the centripetal migration of LECs, and this is very evident even at two years follow-up and beyond. This is another slit lamp photograph taken at 24 months. Again, perfect centration and a clear capsule can be observed. C-Flex is manufactured from Rayacryl a hydrophilic acrylic copolymer of 2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate, HEMA, and methyl methacrylate with a benzophenone UV blocker, and an optimum water content of 26%.
Ray Acryl exhibits excellent uveal and capsular biocompatibility, resulting in a minimum stimulation of cellular proliferation and inflammatory response, and is associated with excellent clinical outcomes, even with diabetic and uveitic eyes, and in cases of pseudo-exfoliation syndrome. Studies also show that Rayacryl's high biocompatibility in combination with an effective enhanced square edge presents the optimum conditions for low rates of posterior capsular opacification. Furthermore, unlike some hydrophobic acrylic IOLs, CFLEX does not rely on bioadhesiveness for low PCO. Not only is Rayacryl associated with high biocompatibility, but with a relatively low refractive index of 1.46, coupled with superb optical clarity and absence of glistenings, specks, or vacuoles, CFLEX, being manufactured from Rayacryl, is associated with a low incidence of dysphotopsia. With silicone and with hydrophobic acrylic IOLs, Silicone oil-induced opacification during VR surgery can be a major problem. However, this is not the case with CFLEX. As Rayacryl has a well-documented low affinity for silicone oil, silicone oil-induced opacification with any Rayner IOL is not a complication. An invaluable benefit for patients having a coexisting or a predisposition to vitreoretinal disease. CFLEX is one of the most easily implanted of all intraocular lenses, either by manual folding or by using the Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector, and the equiconvex uniplanar configuration ensures that CFLEX does not have a right or wrong way up in the eye. Unlike some IOLs, which were designed solely with the objective of being easy to implant, CFLEX was first designed to have all the attributes of the ideal intraocular lens in terms of clinical performance, and only then was the single-use soft-tipped injector developed. In May 2007, Rayner gained FDA approval for CFLEX and became the first non-American manufacturer in over two decades to gain FDA approval for an IOL. The Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector is designed for the safe and effective implantation of CFLAX, and indeed of all Rayner injectable IOLs. Implantation is both easy and controlled. The soft blue plunger tip, which is manufactured from a thermoplastic elastomer and is molecularly bonded to the plunger shaft, completely fills the lumen of the nozzle, providing a soft, protective interface with the lens. Loading is facilitated by the loading bay having an extended lip. If the lens is required to be positioned within the capsular bag for dialing in a clockwise direction, placing the lens within the loading bay in a reverse S configuration is recommended. The round cross-section nozzle has a parallel-sided distal tip to suit individual surgical technique and to help prevent stretching the wound. Implantation is by a single-handed, continuous, smooth movement without the need to retract the plunger during injection. Here is an actual implantation of a C-Flex lens using the Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector. The lens is injected through a sub-3 mm incision. As the lens slowly emerges from the injector tip, the leading haptic gently unfurls into the capsular bag, followed by the symmetrical unfolding of the optic body and trailing haptic. Should a direct in-the-bag implantation not be achieved, the trailing haptic can be easily placed over the capsular rexus rim and positioned within the capsular bag with a suitable second instrument. In this next sequence, the lens loading process is demonstrated. It is important to ensure that prior to insertion, the blue tip of the plunger is not visibly extending within the loading bay and the lens is positioned centrally. After phaco emulsification and cortical cleanup, a suitable ophthalmic viscosurgical device is used to inflate the capsular bag and lubricate the injector loading bay and nozzle. 
Note the positioning of the lens within the loading bay in a reverse S configuration. The edge of the lens is placed beneath the extended lip of the fixed wing of the loading bay with a pair of non-serrated forceps such as Kelman McPherson's. Finally, the opposite edge of the optic is positioned and care is taken to ensure that the haptics are completely within the loading bay. The injector wings are closed and the lens advanced with a slow, continuous and controlled movement of the plunger into the nozzle ready for implantation. Before proceeding, correct orientation of the lens within the nozzle is observed. The lens should move easily and progressively through the injector nozzle before emerging from the tip and entering the capsular bag. The Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector offers exciting possibilities for ophthalmologists wishing to perform bimanual micro-incision cataract surgery. Unlike some IOLs, which were designed solely with the objective of being easy to implant, C-Flex was first designed to have all the attributes of the ideal intraocular lens in terms of clinical performance, and only then was the single-use soft-tipped injector developed. As C-Flex can now be implanted through a smaller incision, patients can now benefit from the many advantages of micro-incision surgery with the implantation of an IOL which has not been subjected to a design compromise. A larger version of C-Flex, Superflex, is also available with a 6.25mm optic and overall length of 12.5mm. Available from minus 10 diopters, Superflex is ideal for moderate to very high myopic eyes. The larger optic diameter is also useful for eyes having a more active or mobile pupil. And, as discussed earlier, the low silicone oil adherence of Rayacryl, coupled with the larger optic diameter of Superflex, makes it the ideal choice for the vitreo-retinal patient. Recent advances in IOL design have involved the application of wavefront technology to improve optical efficiency and visual function. The ability to measure higher order aberrations has led to a better understanding of the eye as an optical system and the development of a new category of IOLs, aspherics, which are capable of providing an excellent quality of vision. Both C-Flex and Superflex are available with the option of aspheric optic technology. In the younger eye, the naturally occurring positive spherical aberration of the cornea is compensated for by the naturally occurring negative spherical aberration of the crystalline lens, resulting in optimal vision. However, with age, the spherical aberration of the crystalline lens gradually becomes more positive, creating an imbalance that reduces contrast sensitivity and visual function. Rayner aspheric IOLs, unlike conventional IOLs, have zero spherical aberration and can therefore be considered to be spherically aberration neutral. As such, they are associated with an increased contrast sensitivity and increased functional visual acuity, particularly under low light conditions, such as with night driving. As contrast sensitivity tends to decline with age, Rayner aspheric IOLs can restore some of that lost contrast sensitivity to optimal levels. Additionally, unlike some negative spherical aberration IOL designs, Rayner spherical aberration neutral IOLs exploit the residual positive spherical aberration of the cornea to provide an increased depth of field with optimal visual outcomes. A further benefit of Rayner spherical aberration neutral IOLs is their reduced sensitivity to decentration in the eye, and this is further enhanced by the unique stability offered by Rayner's AVH technology. However, with both C-Flex aspheric and Superflex aspheric IOLs, care must be taken to ensure correct orientation in the eye. T-Flex, a hydrophilic acrylic UV injectable toric IOL, offers a precise and reliable alternative to incisional keratotomy or limbal relaxing incisions for the correction of pre-existing corneal astigmatism. t 
T-flex is available in a wide range of sphere-cylinder combinations and is therefore superior to toric lenses having a restricted range of torus. Like C-flex and Superflex, T-flex incorporates AVH technology and the resulting dependable absence of rotation ensures that T-flex is associated with superb visual outcomes. T-Flex is also the only Toric IOL with the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, giving an unmatched performance compared with other Toric lenses in terms of low rates of PCO. M-Flex, a hydrophilic acrylic UV injectable multifocal IOL, significantly reduces the need for additional near correction by the use of spectacles or contact lenses. M-Flex can be implanted during routine cataract or refractive surgery and is especially suitable for presbyopic lens exchange or prelex. Based on refractive aspheric optic technology with either four or five annular zones depending on IOL base power, near vision is achieved by the addition of either plus three or plus four diopters of power in the IOL plane, equating to an additional 2.25 or three diopters in the spectacle plane. M-Flex is available either as near or far dominant and with a carefully calculated combination of refractive power and aspheric design, M-Flex is associated with excellent visual outcomes with a remarkably low incidence of halos and glare and compared with diffractive designs significantly less loss of contrast sensitivity. Standard multifocal IOLs are often associated with suboptimal results in patients having significant preoperative corneal astigmatism. With the Rayner M-Flex T multifocal toric IOL, those patients having significant corneal astigmatism can now benefit from the implantation of a multifocal IOL. M-Flex T combines the separate optical features of the T-Flex toric and the M-Flex refractive aspheric multifocal for superior multifocal outcomes with accurate, predictable and sustainable toric corrections. M-Flex T is available either as near or far dominant with a plus three or plus four diopter addition. As discussed earlier, the combination of toric and multifocal optical components another Rayner first, allows the potential benefit of multifocal IOLs to be extended to those patients having significant corneal astigmatism. With modern technology and refined surgical techniques, an exact refractive result following cataract surgery with the implantation of an IOL is a reasonable expectation. Sulcaflex pseudophagic supplementary IOLs are designed to correct any residual pseudophagic amotropia without the increased surgical risk of IOL exchange. Unlike piggyback implantations with conventional IOLs, which can sometimes be associated with pigment dispersion syndrome, PDS, or interlenticular opacification, the unique posterior concave design of Sulcaflex ensures that the occurrence of such unwanted complications are minimized. Furthermore, the likelihood of induced refractive error due to optic surface distortion at the area of contact between the two IOLs is virtually eliminated. In addition to the correction of residual pseudophagic amotropia by the Rayner Sulcaflex aspheric, the Rayner Sulcaflex toric IOL offers an exciting prospect for the correction of any residual pseudophagic corneal astigmatism. The implantation of a Rayner Sulcaflex toric offers a precise and reliable alternative to corneal surgery and is available in a range of sphere-cylinder combinations. And the unique undulating haptic design ensures rotational stability leading to precise toric corrections. Similarly, the Rayner Sulcaflex Multifocal IOL allows for the correction of pseudophagic presbyopia, thereby significantly reducing the need for additional near correction by the use of spectacles or contact lenses. Based on Rayner's refractive aspheric optic technology, near vision is achieved by the addition of plus three diopters. With its carefully calculated combination of refractive power and aspheric design, the Rayner Sulcaflex Multifocal IOL is associated with excellent visual outcomes, 
with a remarkably low incidence of halos and glare, and compared with diffractive multifocal IOLs, significantly less loss of contrast sensitivity. Rayner is committed to the constant development of new technologies and product innovations and continuously endeavors to meet customers' needs and wants. Furthermore, Rayner's continuous research and development into the key areas of materials technology and lens insertion methodology will ensure that the company will remain at the leading edge for many more years to come. Great British products, renewing sight for millions of people.